What's up guys, Vimino here, and this is going to be a quick video tutorial and review of XSplit VCam background replacement software. It's background replacement, background removal, it simulates a chroma screen or a green screen, and it works pretty damn well. So I'm going to show you how it works in this video. I'm going to show you my optimal settings for it, what my lighting setup looks like in my room, and how I use it integrated with XSplit for my Twitch streams and my video recordings. This is just going to be a quick, simple tutorial. Again, XSplit VCam is very, very easy to use. And throughout this video, you will learn how to use it for yourself and how to access this early access software. So XSplit VCam actually works with just about any webcam on the market. Now, I haven't tried it with other webcams, but I'm using a Logitech C922 Pro. I'm sure it works really good with the C920 as well. And a lot of you guys out there watching this video probably you probably have a C920 or a C922 Pro. Now it works with any any webcam in the market as advertised on their website, and it uses CPU implementation and GPU hardware acceleration for the AI technology to detect your background. So right now you're seeing me with a video playing in the background, video of gameplay footage in the background. So this is what it looks like in game when I'm using the background removal or background replacement feature of XSplit VCam. In just a bit, I'm gonna run you through all the features of XSplit VCam. So let's get started with the video. So this is what my camera looks like without XSplit VCam, right? I'm in a dark room, my background is lit regularly. So as you can tell, this is probably what your setup looks like. You're in a dark room, you're about to stream or about to shoot a video. And I don't have any overhead lights on me right now. Uh, my face is just lit using a computer monitor. So again, this is just a really, really basic setup. And XSplit VCAM works pretty damn well with it. So that's why I was really impressed by the software. And I just had to share it to you guys. So first thing you gotta do is head on over to xsplit.com slash vcam and it takes you to this page so it shows you that xsplit vcam makes background removal and blurring screens possible with any webcam without the need for expensive green screens and complicated lighting setup and you can get a lifetime license or you can just get a regular version um, version 1.0 now this this software is an early access and it only currently supports Windows 10 64-bit. So if you're streaming from a Mac, it's probably not going to work. Uh, XSplit VCam comes free with XSplit Premium subscription, so you're going to need XSplit Premium subscription to access the software. All right, now on to the actual product features of XSplit VCam. All right, so on to XSplit VCam product features and overview of the software. So when you open the software, this is what it looks like. First off, you gotta choose what camera device you need to select. So right now I'm using the Logitech C922 Pro Stream webcam. All right, so I can't really choose anything else here. And when you click this, when you click this, uh, it shows you, it shows you webcam properties. You can adjust brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, white balance etc and you have camera control you can zoom focus and adjust the exposure pan and tilt right so you can access all the webcam properties through the xsplit vcam software low light compensation is automatically turned on by default but i actually recommend turning this off i recommend turning this off and this is what it looks like it basically evens out the exposure um, but you need to turn it on if you're in a really dark room if you don't have face lighting i recommend turning it on but if you notice, it actually um, really evens out the exposure if you turn it off. And usually the frame rate runs better with low light compensation off. So I recommend turning this off if you you have enough light. All right. So, but we're going to leave it on for now. So next is the interesting part. You can actually adjust the filter of XSplit VCam. And so this is showing the original background of my camera right now but you can also remove the background and this is what it looks like this is basically the chroma screen behind you the black and white squares show the removed background and you can see some slight artifacting there but it's not going to be noticeable later once we actually add a background right so once you remove background 
you can actually go to XSplit and add a background, a video, a photo, and then just place XSplit VCAM into XSplit. I'll show you in a bit. And here you can replace background. So I have an image loaded here. Uh, you can change the images. Uh, you can change it around. So it's very simple to use. All you have to do is uh, go to background image, click these three dots over here, and you can browse some stock photos and, of course, local files. And then you have a recently used list of photos. So we're going to leave it like that. And then uh, if you notice, if we go back to original background, you can actually blur the background. So you can have like a, a bokeh effect uh, from the camera. Uh, this is what it looks like when it when the black background blur is. This is what it looks like when the background blur is at zero, and this is what it looks like when you can, you want to have like a bokeh effect like that. Some people use that for like vlogs or whatever, and then you can even maximize the blur so you, can, you can't see your background anymore. So very useful tool, very powerful tool. Now, another thing I want to show you is that, for example, when you uh, replace the background, right, you can see that it's a, it's a very good quality. It looks very clean and seamless. You don't see much artifacting, unlike other software that replaces the background without a green screen. Now, the reason for that is because of the hardware accelerated AI technology of XSplit VCAM. It uses, it can either use CPU implementation, which taxes your CPU, or it can use your GPU, in which case I'm using NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080. So I'm using a high end video card. I'm not sure if it actually impacts the performance of the background replacement software, but I assume it would work with any video card. And then you have quality controls. If you set it to automatic, it just sets it to standard. So this is what standard looks like. Uh, if, no, if you notice, I, when I move around, when I move around a bit, it kind of artifacts, uh, but it still works well and it uses less system resources. So I recommend experimenting, see what works best for your system. Uh, but the way I use it is that I make sure it's always set to the highest quality. So that even even when I move around, even when I move around, like it, it, it captures everything well it doesn't really artifact that much unless unless i go out of screen unless i go out of screen then then the artifacting occurs but what's interesting with exploit vcam, VCAM compared to other software is that when when you go out of frame it doesn't crop the image so it doesn't look weird it just glitches out it glitches out a bit if you notice the chair kind of glitch glitching in the background that's totally normal it's glitching out, but it doesn't crop the image. So the overall effect of the green screen is a lot cleaner compared to other software, which is really, really good. Uh, that's what my friends noticed. They actually thought that I was using the actual green screen and they were surprised to, say, to see that I was just using software for the effect. Now, again, you have to make sure, set it to highest quality controls if, you're, if your computer can handle it. All right, so now when you're running XSplit VCAM, it, again, I mentioned earlier that it uses CPU implementation as well as GPU accelerations. So it uses quite a lot of system resources in order to make it work. So I wanted to show you how much RAM it uses while running XSplit Broadcaster. So I have 16 gigabytes of RAM in my system right now. So it's nothing too crazy. A lot of people have 16 gigabytes of RAM and you probably have the same setup uh, when you're using your streaming PC. So right now I'm on 43% memory. XSplit VCAM alone is using 9% of CPU, 1.1% over here, about 1.2 gigabytes of memory, and 11% of my GPU power, which is uh, at 1.6% over here. It's at 43% because XSplit is also using one gigabyte of memory, right? And I have a lot of apps running in the background. So just keep that in mind, XSplit VCAM alone on top of XSplit is going to use 1.2 gigabytes of memory. Just wanted to get that out there. Now, an interesting option is also remove chair. I don't know what magic XSplit is doing, but they can actually remove the chair, detect it in the background, and remove your gaming chair if you want to. So now, magically, my chair is gone. My chair is gone, and now you can only see myself, and you know, like to some people, they can 
they use this so that their viewers can focus on the game better. So very useful for, for streamers or content creators and you don't want to show your chair, no problem. You can go here and remove the chair. Uh, but I, I like to keep mine I like to keep mine on since I'm a pretty cool gaming chair I think so like I like showing it off uh, so now we're going back to we're going back to XSplit so if you notice I loaded a blank scene with a video playing in the background it's an MP4 video playing in the background now say I want to add myself here without a background and use this video as a background now how do I do that it's the same way as you add a regular webcam to the scene so click add source click devices and then go to video and then add XSplit vcam it's going to show as a camera in your device settings so if you, i i magically add the XSplit vcam camera over here so now i'm enlarging it, it you can see the quality is very good uh very very impressive you can see some slight artifacting if I move around, but typically when you're streaming, you're not going to be moving around a lot anyway. You're going to be sitting still like this, and it's going to be showing a very clean effect over here. It's very, very seamless, and it works pretty well. This is what it looks like pretty much when I'm in-game. As you can see, uh, this is game footage running in the background, and this is what it looks like when I'm running it in-game. Right? So this is what it looks like running with my Twitch. Uh, Twitch interface so you can add on-screen elements right there and you can see you know it, it works pretty cool it's pretty seamless right and you can easily you can easily switch the settings around if you don't want to use it if you want to go back to your original background all you have to do is go back to the software and change the settings over there so there you have it guys, XSplit VCAM, chroma screen, green screen, background replacement, background removal software. Uh, hope you guys found this video to be informative and hope you learned on how to use it. If you found this video to be informative, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Leave a like, leave a comment, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Viminal. I'll catch you next time.